Fallen trees took over this town. Limbs cover streets and houses, and power is still off. Our light's been down ever since the 12th of this week, which was Wednesday. That's right, Wednesday. For a two-year-old, it's confusing. If a candle go out, she'll get scared. But she, other than that, she, she getting used to it. But she'll go to the light, flicker it, see what's it's going to come on. Then she'll push the TV, see it's the TV coming on. You got to keep explaining the same thing. For many, it's cold. It's really disaster, you know. It's really bad, you know, for a small town we have, and we don't have that many facilities. And so we are out of power, and you know, the temperature was very low. One way people have been trying to stay warm is to sit in their car with the heat on. However, now the problem is finding gas. This station is out, and so are many others. People have been searching hours for a gas station where they can fill up their tank. Store shelves are also empty. No bread, no batteries. Stores running out of batteries and running out of candles. So we got candles, hopefully that'll last us until the lights come back on, but no batteries, <laughs> no batteries. And the lumber that litters these streets is just a reminder. These people need lights, need heat, need help. My name is Lenore Denise Bird Lavisley of Mullen, South Carolina. In the name of Jesus, I'm out here. We need help. We need help. In Mullins, Amanda Kinsett, WPDE News Channel 15.